from winners in which uh, Zumba kind of stopped. Uh, but we'll see if maybe perhaps, you know, Numbers just had a really strong showing. Well, how about Numbers having a really <laughs> strong start? Zero to death on Zabata reminds him, losers finals ain't no place to play around. Man, losers Numbers right now is looking like a demon. Already lapped him in percent, which is easy to do when you start off the game with a zero to death. But 84, oh my lord. Hey, uh, Devin, real quick, I just want to make sure, do you still have the footage at, like, double speed? Are you still speeding up right now? <laughs> or is that seconds. just numbers absolutely demanding that this game be his in record time? Oh, man, and it's still going. He's lapped him twice now. We're not even at a minute on the clock, and already it feels like Zomba's about to die. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, you almost spoke too soon on that one. <laughs> what is that speaking that I just did? Yeah, Scooby-Doo noises <laughs> speaking. Yeah, it's in the same ballpark. Okay. <laughs> 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 oh man, this is, if you're Zomba, do you just start like playing even worse to condition numbers into thinking you're a worse player than you are? I don't really know what you do besides just like play your best and catch up because numbers gave you a lot of work ahead of yourself. This is such an aggressive numbers. <laughs> he comes up with a rising forward air. It's not really close to killing. The game just sort of lied to all of us. That forward tilt though, very much. Yep, so one thing that I think about is how in Tilda versus Zomba that we saw in Winner's Finals, um, Tilda would get these really big combos, but then not get the kill, and then eventually Zomba would collect himself and get the combo back in his favor. This clip was so quick that we have to include the 3-2-1. You know what I think about is the fact but that Numbers was just sort of playing with himself for three minutes in the past set, and this one, he finished game one in half that time. And it seems like both players are going to have to start aggressively, because Zaba now very aware about how Numbers is willing to play out this set. Buttons are flying left and right, and it's the Rob buttons that are working out, as game two brings us right on back to Pokemon Stadium yeah. 2. I do know that this is a matchup that Numbers generally does not like. Uh, he really, just the fact that Rob has these boxing tools, things like forward air, things like down to, he's dead. Um, yep. well, it seems like the, the, the state of things is that these two just beat the heck out of each other. Like, this isn't even, do, do they have fun doing this? Oh. <laughs> just punching each other in the face? Hey, I think you, you put it best, like, winning's fun. That's true. And when you really break it down, like, parts for parts, it kind of makes sense how these two can just sort of, like, be in each other's faces and absolutely crumble the other one. They're both high damage, high combo characters that can play really well off the ledge and off stage. And they have the tools to slow down the pace of the match or ramp it up on their own call. I mean, the other thing is that their combos oftentimes lead into a kill. The fact that, oh, you know what, that's what happened at the first stock of last game and this game. No big combo ends with a big finisher. Speaking of finisher, Numbers needs to find his own if he wants to try and stay in this bracket right now. Oh, 133%. He gets deep breathing, but... I'm curious if that late down air hit actually leaves him safe enough in those situations. No good DI is going to actually keep him even safer. I think deep breathing might have saved him there. I don't know if it was still in effect right as the hit landed, but not going to save him from that. Um, three stocks to one right now. This is looking mighty grim for numbers. Yeah, no, this is, I'm getting shades of game one just with a uh, different player at the wheel here. And now seeing a lot more of those high recoveries from Zamba, I think are the just really good calls because Weefit does not have the tools to get up there and make your airspace dangerous. She can make the ledge pretty dangerous. That lateral and low space off stage is deadly. Yep. Oh, again, missing that tech. I don't know if that air dodge, oh, so the dash attack was on purpose, but I mean, damage is damage. Numbers even now struggling to find even a way to end this first stock from Zomba. Whereas Zomba is like, eh, all right. 94% <laughs> on numbers, he's looking like he's a, at death's door already. Get the throw, no laser to get the kill, though. <gasps> oh, and a rare situation where Numbers is not able to super hoop his way back. Oh, I mean, the set count right now is 1-1. It has very briskly gotten us to the 1-1 count. That is true. I mean, 
Do you think we're going to see an even game between these two? I don't know. So far, we've just seen incredible snowball performances. Yeah. And one thing is that it feels like that game, the fact that, as you mentioned, Hangman, that started going for those high recoveries, uh, Zomba avoided the real danger zone. That is what cost him so dearly in uh, game one. Now, with this Game 3 returning us to Stadium, I'm very curious to see what the adaptation here is because I don't know if Numbers is going to be able to get away with another Renegade game like we saw in Game 1, nor do I think that Zomba is going to be able to run away with a game as we saw in the previous. Well, I feel like this is another thing about these players, you know, and these characters, is whoever has the lead, you know, stock lead specifically, can really just carry that. So, these oh, next... Oh, yeah. these two snowball really hard. And I think both of these players, just within this tournament alone, have been able to sufficiently prove that. Yeah, so these next, I'd say about 20 seconds, could be very decisive. Numbers managing to get a lot of damage onto Zomba, 140%. There's that high recovery, can he even figure out a way to deal with it? Instead, he elects to use that time to get some deep breathing. Help him out in the future like he does. All right, and within that 20 second window you gave us, very accurate uh, prediction. Although we're almost gonna see an even game immediately following it. Zomba on the hunt to try and get this kill at the ledge. And he's not going to be able to get it just yet. Really good DI from Numbers getting out of that situation. But once again, jumping in, going to be met with disaster as the stock count is 2-2. Two -two. <laughs> yeah, Numbers worked really hard for that kill, but it's kind of undone. Deep breathing is in effect, meaning that we could have some nice damage here. But Numbers is fishing for these neutral airs. Zomba spacing around them, able to open him up and do all of this damage. <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> that's uh, enough! And he's dead. And Zamba said that's enough too. Jeez. Oh no. Numbers off stage. That was a really risky air dodge, and I don't know uh, if this is a good position to be in. Zamba looking to just snowball, just like we were projecting. While he's in charge of the ledge, at any point he could just go off for the arm rotor kills, go for some sort of ledge play. Like, playing at that ledge is so dangerous for Numbers. Ooh, but Numbers doing a really good job putting on some pressure, baiting out spot dodges, staying just within range where he's able to get these hits in. Nobody was expecting him to just be a bad with the back air. <laughs> just why? Oh, man. Ooh, way up there. Yeah, these aerials from Rob, the Zomba being so careful not to throw out anything that can actually be punished into a death. Meanwhile, Member has been like exceptionally scrappy here. Unfortunately, though, the slow return upwards with the hoops not going to be enough. And Zomba adjusts the count to 2-1, his favor. And just like we were talking about, Salty, we are right on the verge of seeing that run back in Grands. Because as a reminder, Tilde is waiting up top in Winterside Grand Finals. Indeed. And Numbers, I know he goes for that sort of the slow uh, hoops, specifically to mix up the opponent's timing. That It's part of what makes his offstage game so tricky and why you see so many players unable to deal with it is actually the fact that it's subtle. You won't notice it when you're just a spectator, but when he slows down just barely, he can really mess up with the opponent's timings. Oh. Yo, talk about a mess up. Really rare situation there. We see the directional air dodge instead of the Z drop from Zamba. Oh. That was a potential zero to death or a start to this game four. Very rare situation to find ourselves in, but Numbers isn't going to complain. No, in fact, building up plenty of damage on his own. Oh, neutral air. Such a strong move. Does tons of damage as well as setting up for those other hits. Especially while deep breathing is active. Like oh, that yeah. buff is such a big deal for numbers. And he got that F tilt in just before deep breathing expired and he manages to get another one. Once again, those higher recoveries from Zomba, they are good in keeping, you know, numbers from actually ending him, but it gives him a lot of time to be able to set up for what he needs, like the next play that he's trying to make. Uh, no air dodge to grab the gyro in that situation. Would have been helpful for numbers, but instead, deep breathing and helping plenty as we see a wild angle dash attack covering Rob's up B as he sticks those little plastic arms up and gets stage spiked because of it. I dare you to react to that. Did you tech that? Because I didn't tech that. I'm mad as I, hell. I don't even know if that was techable, dude. <laughs> we can check in the replay, but 
I mean, in no no human is going to be able to know exactly what angle and everything. And Numbers taking that stock lead, you know, didn't manage to, you know, hold on to the stock himself, but already able to deal 97% onto this Rob. A slick air dodge from Zomba keeps him from dying right there. In a situation like this, I feel like it's important not that Numbers, like, maintains the lead, but rather he's disrupting the momentum that Zamba has. Because Zamba's coming into this game for playing hot off the previous and has been looking very comfortable thus far. Numbers throwing a big wrench into that means that effectively playing at an even level right now. And because of that, Numbers has that potential to snowball again like we were talking about earlier. And that's just what we're seeing now. The pressure right there being so good from numbers. The tricky hitboxes he's landing. And now with this massive lead. Oh, yeah. Zomba knows he needs to make some big plays. He's trying to go off stage like that. But numbers is too cheeky. Not letting that sort of thing catch him. Oh, okay. Never mind. He's going to take all that damage. Yep. Pop. <laughs> Rob, it looks like it should eat shields, but it kind of doesn't. It doesn't do that much damage, honestly. It, it, it's funny, for like all of the pressure that Rob is able to produce, not a lot of it is shield pressure. Let's count our lucky stars that that's the case, though, <laughs> alright? Character's oh, good man. enough. <laughs> Why did you know that was the angle it was getting sent at? And Why did you know that was gonna happen exactly the way that you did? What do you know that we don't? We've seen up smash from Wii Fit into header ball on numerous times. Not once do I think I've ever <laughs> seen numbers do it with the intention of actually using the ball at that angle. Uh, I mean, listen, numbers is the kind of guy I remember this dude watching him lab max 99% Lucario. Like, max, absolute max Lucario. Uh, with a bunch of, like, equipment and everything in the Smash 3DS training room. Like, the guy is a lab monster, and he knows exactly where everything is going. And let's see if that'll help him out as we move into this Game 3. Numbers managing to bring it to a Game 5 so much better than in Winners, where, like, Zomba just kind of absolutely obliterated him. This right. is far from obliteration. This set has been an absolute dissection of what makes both of these players fantastic. Because at both times, they've looked like they're playing phenomenally. But it's been more or less training the baton. Not an even battlefield, but rather Zaba playing great? No, Numbers playing great. Then Zaba playing great, and Numbers bringing it right back into his court. But we're running out of games, Salty. We're in game five. This is Losers Finals. There's no further opportunities to prove yourself than here. Yeah, and now. Yeah, and Numbers definitely looking to prove himself by ending this stock. He has the Sun Salutation in the bag. Looking for an opportunity to do it. He needs, but he can't even get back down to the ground. Oh, you saw him go for it right there, but Laser just a little too quick. And all of a sudden, Numbers, despite being up by so much, he is now trapped at the corner where he might die. I need a header ball even getting involved in the Rob up air. Really good situation for Zamba as he's been trying to turn this reversal slowly but surely. <gasps> the recovery from numbers was so good right there. But now, being trapped at the corner like this, he's taken so much percent. And whoever takes the stock, it might decide who wins this entire game. Up throw that might do it. Just barely surviving. Beautiful DI. That's phenomenal DI. Look at that. It's going to take a nair with max rage. Practically fresh, too, because of all the other stuff that Zamba had to throw at him. They're talking about throwing. Drop the sun on the boy. It's an even count, but it's taken us a couple of minutes to get to this point. Oh, Numbers trying to get cheeky with that gyro Z drop, but didn't actually get the hit. And now, all of a sudden, he's taking about 44%. Zomba pushing him all the way out there. A side B is always something he has to be scared of, especially when he's that deep into the blast zone. I think one thing that Zamba has grown very cognizant of is that when this battle's at the ledge and Numbers runs out of resources, he's able to just get away with buttons. And because of that, he's built up so much damage so safely. <laughs> that, that ball almost came back to bite Numbers. But as it stands, he's alive at 96%. Not a great position, but he is alive, meaning he might be able to get this run back. Already able to dish out 100 and true onto Zomba. Looking for some type of finishing blow, possibly, but Zomba now with some stage control. <gasps> Pushed all the way out there. 
Gonna throw the gyro. Just excellent gyro control from Zamba as this game has gone on. But even greater is Number's ability to mix up how he returns to ledge. There's that slow hoops that makes such a big difference. Especially because Rob, you know, has pretty long-lasting hitboxes, but not long-lasting enough to really cover it. And the close-in hitbox from the laser managing to save Zamba, as that dash attack with the deep breathing would have certainly killed him. Oh, man. I think that was pixels away from hitting the blast zone. Numbers at 172%. That's a dangerous re-grab. That's an even more dangerous laser. But that's phenomenal DI. Living at 186. Numbers figuring out what to do here. Oh, it's proving to be a breathing. very difficult task. And there it finally is. Nair after Nair after Nair. Finally, one of them connects. Numbers, though, with deep breathing, might be able to close out this stock very quickly. He needs to because if Zomba hits him once, it might be a ton of damage. Already, that's what we're seeing. Numbers needs to take it and... Oh, trapped, though. Zomba doing what he can to press forward. 42% manages to be the end after that exchange. And Numbers is on the move. Oh, he's looking for an opportunity to throw out the sun, but Zomba knows that stays very grounded. Already numbers at 60%. This is the type of extra credit that Zomba can be more than happy laying claim to. Of course, especially sitting at 203% on his second stop. Damn near any sweet spot hit will kill, and it's going to be the back air, in fact, that finds its mark. And now, Numbers in the hot seat. He's already got a decent amount of damage on him and no sense of stage control as he's forced immediately to the ledge to try and even out this damage de deficit. I mean, probably won't be relevant, but also look at the time. Almost two minutes left. There might come a time where at the very least, Numbers is going to feel a force to approach. <gasps> oh, but that's the combo starter that we know. Not able to get that much off of it, but now with deep breathing, who knows what might happen? Retreating to the skies, I think, is the best call for Zama because he knows that he doesn't have to worry about trading for moves. With Wii Fit in that situation, he just has to wait for the right counter hit! And That's down tilt to down smash gets it done! Missing the tech at a crucial moment. Zomba reacts, gets the finishing blow, and now he is getting his chance for the run back against Tilda, moving us into grand finals. It came down to that last situation. Look at that. Look at down that. tilt, missed I, the tech. Hold on a second. Actually, I want to go back and look at that sun salutation. Numbers knew he was taking to the air, right? What am I doing? He was definitely go. knew he was going into the air. He goes for this sun salutation just a little bit too early, though. It was the fact he went for the full hop. Really good mix up from Zomba, knowing that <gasps> was numbers. He's not was... able to tech that? Why wouldn't he? Wait, what happened? So. Watch really quickly. So we go through the, the situation, and it's whatever, right? Early sun salutation, definitely not a good call. And then the down tilt, forcing out a situation here. He's put in tumble, and then red sparks. Well, no, I think it's the yellow spark. The green. There's the green. I was yeah. going to say, that would have been a situation. Well, no, just the, been... the red is from the impact. It's the green sparks we okay. see afterwards that signifies that it could have been tacked.